outside of marriage, you who's taking drugs and crack cocaine, God wants to set you free. Hallelujah. We're not talking about religion. We're talking about heaven and hell. It is no joke. You are either going to end up in one or the other. There is a battle for your soul today. There is a battle for your soul. Satan is fighting for your soul. And Jesus died on the cross for your soul. But you have a will. Because God didn't make you a robot. God could have made you a robot, but he didn't make you a robot. God gave you a will to choose evil or good. Every day is a choice. When you wake up in the morning, am I going to choose Jesus? Or am I going to choose Satan? You are fighting an enemy that you don't see. But the devil wants you to lose this battle of life. And God wants you to win this battle of life. But you have to choose whose side you're going to be on. Because there's a war going on. It don't matter how you try to dress up. The women try to put on the lipstick to cover up the pain inside. God knows your pain. Come on now. God knows your hurt. God sees when your father left you alone and you have to try to figure out what it means to be a man. How to, how to put money on the table. How to pay the bills. Come on, now. How to figure it out by yourself. Some of you trying to sell crack cocaine just to get by. But that's what? The money goes in your pocket. It's like there's a hole. It falls through. You can't keep the money you get. Because there's a curse over your life. Come on. Jesus can break the curse. The blood of Jesus can break that curse over your life. When, when Adam and Eve sinned in the Garden of Eden, there was a curse that was released to humanity. The curse that flows till today. Jesus died on the cross to break the curse over your life. You don't have to die in your sin. You don't have to die in your sin. You can repent and cry out to God. Say, oh God, forgive me. Maybe you are mad today. You have abused women. You abused women. And now you have no appreciation for women. No wonder there's increase of pornography. Man, trying to, you know, everything to, to, to break the rules of God. You can't love nobody. You can't love your woman. You can't love even your own children. You hooked on pornography. Jesus wants to set you free. You're all by yourself. And you're downloading click, 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 click on the internet. You think nobody sees you. But God sees you. The Bible says the eyes of God runs to and fro across the earth who see everything that you do. Nothing is hidden before his sight. You can try to put on a mask. You're with your friends at work. You act like everything is okay, but inside you're dying. Inside you're perishing. Who's going to save a wretch like me? Only Jesus can do it. Some of you, you cry at night. You go to bed and you cry yourself to sleep. But when you walk in the street of Tottenham, you act like everything is okay. Let me just pretend for a little longer. Let me just pretend, but there comes a time where you can't pretend no more. The presence of God has gripped you. The Spirit of God is convicting you of your sin, your immorality, and God wants to help you. He wants to make you whole. He wants to wash you as white as snow. From the top of your head to the soul of your feet. Hallelujah. You cry it out inside. Who will love me? Everybody wants to be loved. Nobody wants to be hated. Everybody wants to be loved. That's why people are chasing girlfriends and boyfriends. Because they want love. But they chase love in 
the wrong places. You chasing a man or woman, but they didn't leave you. You're left with a broken heart. You're left with a broken heart. Jesus can be a friend closer than any friend. He's what you need. There's a difference between what you need and what you want. Many people are chasing their wants. Oh, I gotta have this. I gotta have this kind of a house. This kind of a woman. This kind of a dress. This kind of a designer. But you're still empty inside. No matter what you do, you're still empty inside. God wants to build your soul. We're not talking about religion. You see, religious people, they're killing themselves in the Middle East because the devil is lying to them. They're going to have virgins in heaven. What a lie from the pits of hell. There is no virgin for no murderer. The only thing you're going to get if you murder people is 72 demons and 72 demons in hell. No virgins in heaven. Devil has lied to many people. They say, oh, go blow up yourself. Some of them are even using bricks to cover their private parts so that they can sleep with virgins in heaven. What a lie! God, don't say to you, cover your, your, your private parts so that I can give you with No! It's a lie from the devil. It's a lie. It's a lie. The blood of your life can be you. You are no virgin. The blood of your Jesus. Your racist. Can take you through. Hallelujah. You ain't no lie. Jesus loves you. He cares. You are no virgin. The blood of Jesus loves you. Died for you on the cross. Jesus died on the cross for you. Don't spread hate. He shed his blood for you. Spread the word of God. That you can be free. Do not spread the word. Jesus died on the cross for you.
in the name of Jesus. Jesus died on the cross. He can wash you like as white as snow. Like the blood of Jesus. God is blood on the cross. Pay off sin. There is no virtues in heaven for murderers. You see the truth is coming out. The truth is coming out. Murderers will not have a place in heaven. The blood of Jesus is coming out. The truth is coming out. That the devil that is right to the devil. Jesus is dead on the cross.